Hey guys, and welcome to a special video today. Today I decided to get my hands on a CRT TV um, in the year of 2020. So why did I do it? Because I think um, playing the old video game consoles, you should play it on old fashioned TVs. I mean, uh, flat screens with 4K HDR, stuff like that is fine, but uh, it never gives you the old feeling of playing the original console on and yeah, TV, which is from the same era. So I decided to get myself a CRT in 2020. So, well, let's get started. With that said, I made my way to the cellar. It was quite a spontaneous buy. I found the offer just a few hours ago, seeing one of the last CRTs ever produced and for around 25 euros on eBay. Usually, whenever I found an offer, it was somewhere on the other side of Germany, like in Berlin, in Hamburg or Munich. But this time the seller was quite near me, just in driving hour away from my place. The seller even offered to help me carrying the TV to my car, which is a really kind thing to do, considering that the TV has a weight of around 130 pounds or 60 kilos, or about 66% of my own weight. I really need to work out more often again. Anyways, I arrived at the seller's place, got the TV, and made my way back to my place again, riding into the sunset like a modern cowboy, with the CRT in a trunk. I must say, despite my job as a driver's instructor and being on the road all day anyways, it still pleases me to drive the German Autobahn without its speed limits by myself. Arriving home, I got a bit impatient and wanted to carry the TV alone to my apartment in the third floor. As you can imagine, I didn't made it that far and waited for the next day, so a friend could help me. The next day I could finally install the TV to my place. And so I did. Damn, it feels so nice seeing those again. It immediately threw me back to my childhood days. So let's get into some specs of the TV. The TV itself is branded by Samsung, called WS32Z. 49T. What a nice and easy name. Its screen is 32 inches big, it has an aspect ratio of 16 by 9, is heavy as hell, was built in 2006 and has quite some features you never expect to see on any CRT these days. Turning it around and oh my god, it even still has its foil on. I, I just can't. To the features, looking at the backside, you can see an HDMI port, component in, the European SCART system, which is more or less composite in, and a connection for analog TV stations. The HDMI, even though it was pretty early HDMI, allows an even modern Blu-ray player to be connected directly to the TV. That's a combination I have never seen before. But now let's take a look at some movies. You think you take better care of this house? Starting with one of my all-time favorites, Up, I was quite impressed how crisp the image was for such an old beast. I must say, the colors did look amazing and the sharpness was not bad either. It's hard to explain but the movies felt warmer and more natural to me, if that makes any sense. Continuing with another one of my all-time favorites, Rio, I was even more blown away by the colors, the depth and the image quality.
flickering may look a little bit much, but that's only an effect of the camera. In real life it's not seen. Ok, after the movies let's test some games. Starting with good old fashioned composite in, let's take a look at our beloved Pokemon Stadium 2. I have to say, it looks and feels more natural than playing it on a modern flat screen. It just feels like playing it again in 2001. Moving on to the next generation, the GameCube and the Wii, this time connected over a component in, which is basically analog HD. Poketopia, Colosseum Portal, Leihkampf, Kampf 1. Es ist soweit. Gleich beginnt der Kampf. Die blaue Seite schickt Glutexo und für Rot kommt Ubeluf. Was für eine Energie. Und schon geht's los. Das hat eingeschlagen. Eine fantastische Attacke gleich zu Beginn und schon am Boden. Oh yes, this is just so good. And not only because it's a 3D Pokemon game with decent animations for once, <clears throat> but also it brings back a lot of memories and looks just good. But as usual, that's just my personal opinion. Feel free to disagree. Thank you for staying here this long. I hope that you liked my little vlog and that you may have learned something new. What do you think of CRTs or HD CRTs? Are they useless and belong to the trash these days or do you think similar that they feel distinct from modern tech in a good way? Please let me know in the comments and as usual have a good day.